Uh, this is the this is the main gallery part of the studio gallery. In that, this is where Loretta and I have most most of our original paintings. The other part of the gallery, we have a lot of prints and uh, T-shirts and some of the things that we market more frequently. This uh, beautiful old outbuilding was for quite a few years uh, just a dirt floor and a roof uh, and the beams, and uh, it was my woodshed. And Sean, our son, who's a very fine carpenter made this beautiful gallery out of it for us. And this large painting is, a, is one of Lorette's uh, oils that's kind of an impressionist way. And then this wall is primarily a collection of some of my turtle art, but also some of the different things that I do. Uh, obviously, I have my painted turtle here, which is a watercolor. Uh, this particular print, Spotted Turtle and Wild Plum Blossoms, is one, the original, this is a print actually that we've had made that we, we can sell because I don't want to sell the original of this one. The original I did back in the 1970s is smaller as a gift to my art teacher from high school and his wife. He, they were very important people to me in my first art days uh, and sending me on that path to become an artist actually. And upon their, uh, they're both deceased now and uh, that painting has come back to me. And all of my watercolors that I do for my book illustrations, for example, or this particular style, here is one of a book trout in a flowing stream. This is a, uh, a larger version I did, actually, of a watercolor that I produced for my book, Trout Reflections. Uh, I work with transparent watercolor. That is to say that all of the lights that are coming through here, the light on the turtle shell, on the turtle's head, the lights in the water and even the shadows and uh, the lights that come out are all the color of the paper coming through. With transparent watercolor, one starts with very light washes and builds toward the dark. And as you build toward the dark, then these lights emerge. I think that gives a, I think it gives a kind of light and life that, especially for these turtle paintings and for a book, uh, if I'm going to do a color illustration for a book, it's just so much more um, alive rather than using opaque white. Um, and you can see that uh, this, this is, uh, years ago I did a, a very, very comprehensive study, series of studies over a period of six years. I must have done, oh my goodness, probably five or 600 watercolors of, um, for a forest service uh, tree pathology, a tree pathologist and researcher. And again, this is all done with transparent watercolor. And uh, the majority of the work that has gone into my uh, published books has been in pen and ink, which I also do. I bring this out much in the manner that I would do with a watercolor. But of course, here I'm working with a very, very fine pen point, a point 13 millimeter point, as a matter of fact. And then I just keep drawing cross-hatching, darkening, darkening, leaving some areas light, and then that sort of comes forward. And then where I darken and cross-hatch the most, it goes back, and of course I can get the shadow effect like that. Pen and ink is really much more suited for book illustration. Uh, I've tried some pencil illustrations, and um, they come out, even with the technology of the day and prints, they look a little bit too light. They look like silver point drawings or something. But the pen and ink will have the kind of punch that stands up on the printed page along with the text. So just actually at a time in my life when I thought I was going to abandon doing that kind of very fine work, I just didn't have the eyes I once had, um, I began that book era of mine and I uh, suddenly found myself doing more pen and ink work than I had done in the previous decades. Other things that I do, uh, for example, are these. Um, I'm working currently, the last year and a half, I've been doing quite a series of pencil drawings of nudes. And this is a whole different approach, of course. Uh, here I have a toned paper that I've stamped with gold. And then I'm drawing with uh, pencil. And I'm bringing out highlights here with just touches of wash of opaque white paint. This is about the only way I work in which I use an opaque white for highlighting. And um, another one of my, this is actually a, my most recent watercolor. 
in the midst of well, I have quite a series now of these of these um, nudes and, and portraits on, on the gold background. That's been my main thing for the last year and a half, but I continue to do the turtle type art. This paper is still tapes down from when I threw a wash on the watercolor paper. And here again, I am using transparent watercolor. Actually, the highlights on the turtles' heads and shells are actually the same color as this background. I toned that sheet of paper first with this watercolor wash, but then you see as I build my darks in, that suddenly becomes something like it's receiving light from another source. It's a, it's a kind of a radiant light that comes out through these um, autumn leaves, for example, that again to me just seems to bring things much more to life. And this is a scene, um, actually all the drawings and all the watercolors that I've done um, for my books are things I have actually observed over the years. Um, you don't often see two spotted turtles moving together along a migration stream. I have observed that in the wild. Um, everything that I've drawn from the brook trout in a riffle, uh, well, okay, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I go in another direction and when I'm, when I'm working just from my imagination and not for the illustrating a book, for example, or not trying to be more of a naturalist painter, and I get a little more designy with it. Um, these kinds of things, like my uh, spotted turtles and wild plum, show very much a, an oriental art influence. Uh, I've always been very, very much enamored of and influenced by, for example, uh, the Japanese screen painters and by the Chinese painters, the Chinese uh, landscape painters. So that oriental way of working, that oriental design sensibility, um, which I have such a great respect and admiration for has obviously influenced certain parts of my work. Mm -hmm.